he's not a wild boxer or wild puncher. He's a very, very uh, talented guy. Also, selects his punches very clearly. I think this this could be a stoppage, eh? Yeah, look, uh, Imani's a, a, a collected boxer. I mean, there's no there's no junior middleweight that can stop Ro France Romabolo in five rounds as things go. Not even the great bulldog could do that. They went to the distance and they went to 10 rounds. Uh, Imani Colombo has got some heavy strength. Look, at the end of the day, both men came to fight, eh? Only the bell will tell. Yeah, look, I uh, never judge a book by its cover. Um, we've seen some shocking uh, upsets in boxing. Uh, however, this does, uh, does look like a little bit of a mismatch. I think so too, like I said earlier. I think this is just a quick fight for the end of the year. Yeah, look, um, yeah. If you look at the size difference of the two guys, you'll see that Imani is uh, by far the bigger guy. And in terms of muscle tone, you can see who's been preparing for this fight and who's come in late. Uh, most of these DRC boxers are very, very conditioned. Yeah. Phenomenal muscle gen genes. Uh, obviously, we didn't show it on camera, but as, as he was walking in, he greeted uh, Ilunga Makabu, who's fighting for the WBC uh, gold title. So we'll and see. if I'm not mistaken, they spar. They do spar together, and it's a very competitive sparring. Yeah. I'd love to watch that. Yeah, anything with, the, with these two guys. As you say, Colombo's got a, a very big future. Oh, he's a showman as well. Colombo playing around, taking his time, enjoying himself. I think that is what a boxer should do. Yeah, but look, Have fun and confidence. Look at the steps. Watch a quick snap jab. It will come. Look at Opiwe's belt. He's far too soft for, uh, for this weight division. He definitely took a, a fight on short notice. Billy's a little bit overweight there, looks like it. Yeah, look, and he still had to run on, he still missed weights at first attempt, so, you know, he had to run on the scales. Let's see how, um, let's see how he deals with the power of Imani Colombo. Emini hasn't even thrown one, not one power punch, just selecting it. I think he is waiting for a knockout. Yeah, he's going to time it, and he's going to throw it, and he's going to land it by the looks of it. I, th I think sometimes you can you can identify a special boxer from early days, and I think Imani is one of those guys. Um, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, from what I've seen so far of his career, he looks a very special boxer. I love his feints, very stylish. He knows where he is. His ring craft is phenomenal. Yeah, look at him. Look at that calm and collected. I mean, look at him. He's just he's just punching. He hasn't thrown he's a single He's actually collecting punch. points right now. He hasn't even thrown a power punch yet, and he's winning this round. Look, he's so confident. He's not even, uh, he's not doing much. He's letting a Piwe come to him. But sooner or later, he's going to throw a bomb, and it's going to be trouble. I think that's where he's going to put... Uh, I think a lot of guys, he's, a trying to, he's trying to give a Piwe a little bit of confidence. Yes, definitely. But I think he's going he's gonna to hurt a Piwe and he's going to take their confidence right away. At the end of the day, the general has to have uh, the crowd behind him. And how do you put the crowd behind you? By being artistic. Yeah, look at him now. He's just taking, he's just taking the time. Both boxers looking calm and collective. Emini's going to get told now to be boxing. They need to work a bit more. And uh, this is where the fight's going to end, I think. Yeah, look, look at this. I mean, uh, okay, maybe maybe not the first round because, I mean, Emini hasn't come out with the intention of locking him out. But it looks like he's definitely sizing him up. He's a showman. Look at that uppercut. Phenomenal. Mean uppercut. Mean uppercut. No, the fight's going to, I think, I think he could finish this early, eh? Yep. If that right uppercut lands, I think it's going to hurt him. Yeah, look, look at the, look at, look at Colombo, he's just so calm, nothing affects him. He got hit there though, but he just shook it off. Mustn't be too confident, eh? Yeah, look, I mean, never ever underestimate someone. A lucky punch could land, and that's, that's the end of the night. Oh, what a shot there. Good right hook, it looks like he hit a bit of the glove though, in retrospect. I'm telling you right now, it could be an uppercut that signals the end of the night. Love him and his style. Angles are awkward, 45 degree jabs, jabs from the side, body punches. That last him. body shot it hurt, him. hurt him. The last body shot it hurt him. Definitely saw his face, he cringed a bit, dropped down to the right a bit also. This fight will not go the distance. No, definitely not. Look, what is it? It's scheduled for eight rounds, right? Or six? Six rounds. It's scheduled for six rounds, still won't go the distance in my eyes. Uh, Imani is he, he, he just, you can see, there's levels to this game. He's boxer. Uh, Apiwe looking like he's lost all card. Look, I'll, I'd be shocked if it goes beyond this round, to be honest with you, Ash. 
Think they could throw the towel in? It depends. Uh, it looks like they, they're asking him now if he's okay, and he doesn't look too confident, too confident looks at like all. Looks like he's shaking his head. Yeah, they, they, they look like they're begging him for something. Like, can you get another round in? They, they don't look like, they, like he wants to continue. Gum guard's going in. He is going to continue. Well, look at that. Look at that. He's going to come out. Emini looked, looked like he wants everybody to scream for him. Emani looks so confident. Apiwe is not looking very confident at all. Look, he's a bit scared now. You can see he's felt the power. He's definitely had a taste of what Imani can do. Imani now might be looking to put him away just to show his dominance. And just send a warning out to the rest of the division. For the end of the year. Yeah, look, and, and, and coming into... There's the that body shot again to the left. So, just... A, I don't think this fight will last too much longer. Oh, uh, uppercut. So, I'm just going to mention something real quickly. Imani Kalambo versus Nkuleleko Mshlongo. What do you think? Good Dangerous fight. fight. Dang Dangerous fight for both of them. Damien Durant has been quoted as saying that Imani is already beyond Mshlongo's level. What is your comment to that? Body shot again. Like I said, sorry to get back to your he's comment not, there. He's not getting up. He won't be getting up. He's done. His confidence is down. You need more than the body. You need your confidence. That is what wins and gets you your fight. It's over. Like we said, early stoppage. Uh, to get back to your comment. I think, I think the comment's thrown a bit too early. We don't know. We don't know. The, the fight has to show it. 100% but cut record at the moment. Both guys, I mean, yeah. both guys are talented. I mean, come on. I think it, it would make a very good fight. I think people would really pay to watch that fight. I, I fully agree with you, Aiden. I fully agree. Yeah, look. And look at him celebrate now. The crowd absolutely love him. His stock is growing, but perhaps not in South Africa. He's from the DRC. The Gauteng crowd here love him. I think he's got a future here in South African boxing, but up to a certain level.